while we have the engine the oil pan down we're going to be putting what this is this is just a little silicone hose all right so these are the other parts i need to install which is the front mount intercooler If you're new here, welcome to the Auto Lust YouTube channel. If you're already an Auto Lust family member, thank you. And what's swinging, gang? As you can see, I got my baby behind me on the wall, looking all nice and graceful, so you know where I'm at. We at the big boosted beamers, and we're finally, finally getting Olivia some nice mods, getting ready to get some power on that baby. Let me show you what I got. If you didn't see last week's video, make sure you go and check last week's video out where I unveiled the world's first B58 coil swap for the N6, N63 and S63, including TU model engines. This was a world's first. It's never been done before. Everyone claimed it couldn't be done. It's done and they make a lot of power. So go check that video out. Links will be down in the description. And here my baby is in all her glory. She's been feeling so left out because I've been doing so many power and reliability mods to Sasha. But man, we're, we're man, she's long. But we're we're definitely on her now. And let me show you everything we have to go. So I, if you guys didn't see the videos beforehand, I've done so many mods with Olivia, new wheels, lowering like literally bulletproof the engine with upgraded uh billet aluminum parts and got rid of the factory plastic parts you know link for her playlist will be down in the description but i left off with needing to change the oil pan gasket and i told you guys that it was sweating but it wasn't leaking yet but now it's starting to drip so it's time to get on it and while we have the engine the oil pan down we're going to be putting king racing bearings gpz racing bearings in these are the same bearings that i'm using in sasha for my world record uh drag racing car so these will definitely you know do this engine some justice when i do the turbo upgrade i have the down pipe front mount intercooler uh boost pipe the charge pipe is already on as you can see it right there so you know she'll be even more reliable with better rod bearings because this engine has almost 150,000 and you can't even hear it running testament to the most reliable turbo engine BMW has ever made the N55 and I'm also gonna be changing the uh, the rear gear fluid you know because who knows when the last time it was changed I already did the transmission when I bought the car but I need to change the gear fluid and also I'm not using uh, ARP rod bolts I mean this isn't gonna be a 60 pound boost car I'm gonna be using the new updated part number rod bolts for the N55 this isn't the same rod bolt that comes in this car they've been revised and whatever bmw has done to them these are the newest ones and also i hear a lot of horror stories of people uh you know tightening the arp bolt and it you know rounds out the rod the rod in so i, I don't want to have that type of problem with my car either so I'm going to be using the stock bolts, which, which should be plenty enough for the type of wheel horsepower she's going to be making. So let's get her on the lift and get this oil pan down. Thank you. 
Doing an oil pan gasket is not an easy job, or rod bearings for that matter. This is not an at-home job to do and should be definitely done in a shop with a lift by professionals. We used red line assembly lube also for the rod bearings. The next day. So it's actually the next day. We stayed here till like three in the morning, you know, getting this stuff knocked out because I mean, it has to be done right when you're doing rod bearings. I mean, and, and the, you know, degree and torque sequence is crazy. It's 20, 20 Newton meters to set and then 70 degrees twice. And trust me, that last 70 degrees of throw, throw your, L, your uh, shoulder out the socket if you're not built right. So let me show you guys here. Pretty much everything with a white dot on it is done. So one, two, three, and four is done. We have, uh, those are the stock bearings there. You, as you can see, they weren't too bad at all. They weren't bad at all. But also, we're gonna change the valve cover gasket i mean why not she's on the operating table might as well do the valve cover gasket too you know like i said this engine almost has 150 thou on it if it's not leaking now it's gonna leak soon so we're gonna change that and i have new oil pan bolts too new aluminum stretch oil pan bolts so let's get it and you already know that i had to drive the beautiful sasha here since olivia is deep into surgery and i mean sasha she looks just like very very beautiful sitting out here oh shit man that e92 sound good This is one of Omar's personal cars. BMW's most insane naturally aspirated V8. Three days later. Gang, so a couple days have passed and I've, you know, been driving Sasha well, driving Olivia, I apologize, Sasha. I've been driving Olivia and testing her out. Oh man, she drives so good and she idles perfectly. And you know, I went along ahead and put on her Catless downpipe while she was on the uh, on the lift, and it does exactly what you guys think it does. Because I know 99% of you guys who watch this channel has Catless downpipes, so her cold start is a lot more aggressive you know throttle picks up you can hear the turbo out the exhaust and stuff like that but i don't want olivia to sound like menacing like sasha because she is a seven series so i'm not going to do any more exhaust mods i'm going to leave everything else stock just leave the downpipe for the power she is tuned with boot mod stage two but the tune isn't on it's pretty much just stock with the cat delete you know because i want to uh, install the other parts that I'll show you soon that I have for this build and also tell you the parts I have coming and also show you what I started on the engine already for the next video but I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek so let's get out here in this engine bay all right as you can see she has a brand spanking new valve cover brand spanking new oil pan gasket you know we we literally hand scrubbed and watched washed the entire bottom of the engine i mean it's so nice and clean now she's you know very nice and clean i don't have the engine cover on and i'll show you why if you're wondering what this is this is just a little silicone hose in part two of this video i will explain to you exactly why there's a silicone hose on a port where oil usually comes through.
with the breather on the end, which is not going to stay like this. I'm redoing my positive uh, crankcase ventilation system. And it's also a silicone plug here, which, you know, it's very, very tight. And I don't want to give you guys too much information on this setup because it's a lot more pieces that goes with this. But it's going to stop all of that nasty oil from infiltrating the intake and turbo track and gumming up your valves and all of that stuff. So you'll never have to clean the valves again. All right, so these are the other parts I need to install, which is the front mount intercooler and the boost pipe. She already has the charge pipe upgraded, down pipe, and a couple other things. But in order for me to put the, t the tune on, I want to have these things already on the car. You know, I don't want to push her more than she needs to be pushed with the stock intercooler, knowing that it's full of oil and stuff like that. And that's the engine cover here, which I have to modify a little bit on that side once I'm done. And also, this is the stock catalytic converter, and it's in perfect condition. As you can see, let me flip this over. You can see she's in perfect condition. This camera never wants to focus, but yeah, this, I, you know, is no, once I modify my vehicles, you know, like I did Sasha here, but once I modify my vehicles, I don't go back. I don't turn around. I don't reverse the clock. So there's no need for me to keep any of the stock parts. If I sell any car that I've highly modified, it's to a person who's already wanted to do this to their car and can save a lot of money or who already appreciate their car making a lot more power. So if, you, if anyone needs a downpipe, stock OEM downpipe for 535i, 640i, X5, X6, the E70 and E71, or uh, the 740, li or 740i let me know uh hit me up on ig and i have that down pipe for sale but yeah so i just have to get this stuff installed and we can go ahead and finally tune the car but this is not all i'm gonna install on this car it's a lot more and let me tell you about it so olivia is actually gonna follow in the footsteps of her big sister sasha and we're gonna do a big boy high pressure fuel pump you know i was thinking about going with the dort stage one or the dort stage two possibly another brand you know like the precision raceworks big bore until i ran across a lot of information about the b58 tu pump and modifying them and putting them on the n55 engines you know I did a lot of research on this stuff, you know, and it's a it's a bunch of companies, especially over in the UK that modify these pumps and sell them or install them a bunch of performance companies in the UK, you know, so I mean, for around the same amount of flow, you know, for about a quarter of the price, I mean, that's a you no know, no brainer. I mean, Olivia is my daily and she's a budget bill, hence the parts that I'm putting on her. You know, but I do want her to be reliable, make good power, and last a long time. And I will be doing a Pure 500 Turbo upgrade as well with Turbo Smart uh, vacuum actuated wastegate actuator and a Turbo Smart blow off valve. So the entire Turbo setup will be Turbo Smart and pure. So it's gonna be nasty work, and I can't wait to see how she feels and sound with, sounds with all that stuff. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much where we are at for Olivia right now, but stay tuned for next week for the new video where I can show you guys exactly how and why I'm doing what I'm doing to her PCV system. So like, share, and subscribe, and auto lust out.